A Melbourne television idol has gone under the hammer. Jerry G, the wooden star of the small screen, has been sold for $17,000. All eyes were on lot 174, or as is better known to thousands of baby boomers, Jerry G. I don't like television. The lights hurt my eyes. Well, for heaven's sake, you don't have to look at the lights. Where can I look then? Well, you could look at me. At her class, old. Jerry was in a case in the garage, and what's the use of that? So it was better that he goes to somebody who can value him. Looking sombre behind glass, Jerry was uncharacteristically silent as auctioneer Warren Joel took control of his sale. Jerry G, $5,000 start anywhere. Interest came from all quarters, including television executives. There was even a dummy bidder. $11,000 for Jerry, $12,000. Moments before the hammer finally fell on the famous puppet, he and his friends were still putting on a show. At $15,000, going to be sold, right? I'm throwing at $15,000, the bid's here. What was that you said again? A performer to the end, it was Jerry who had the last word. Third and final time at $17,000, will be sold, you all silent? $17,000 sold. I've never been uh, tense about it up until today, but uh, today I felt a little bit twitchy. The mystery buyer made a quick exit, not even revealing himself to Jerry's former owner. Well, Jerry, what did you think of that? I don't know who bought me. I don't know who bought you anyway. If it was a girl, a girl would be nice. Anyway, good luck, Jerry, and goodbye. Angela Murphy, 10 News. A showbiz partnership spanning 40 years has ended with the sale of Jerry G to a mystery bidder for $17,000. Ventriloquist Ron Blaskett and Jerry gave their last interview to Darren Linton. Even after 40 years together, the magic is still there. It is an exciting day. Good for me. Why? I might get a girl, aren't I? <laughs> But now in his 70s and with a lung condition, Ron Blaskett hasn't the breath to keep up with his companion. He retired a few years ago, leaving 42-year-old Jerry without work. Well, Jerry was in a case in the garage. In the garage, yes. Rotting. Rotting. So it's off to auction and hopefully a place in a museum, perhaps next to Farlap. What do you think of that? He's stuck. <laughs> so are you. <laughs> The first variety act on Melbourne television and a star of the stage must be worth something. What's it worth? Incalculable. Incalculable. We really don't know. Leaving aside the dummy bids. Now that be a haircut, Will be sold for all time. Jerry eventually went for seventeen thousand dollars to a mystery buyer who didn't stick around for the encore, leaving Ron and Jerry to say a final fond farewell. Goodbye, Jerry. Nick off. Darren Linton, Seven Nightly News. Now, finally, it takes a lot to break up a partnership of more than 40 years, but that's how one of Melbourne's most enduring couples made the split today. Lot number 174, known as Jerry G to generations of Australian children, was auctioned by his mentor, Ron Blaskett. Specially created for the 1956 opening of Channel 9, Jerry's now retired, although some younger branches tried to the last moment to keep the family tree intact. But Jerry was finally knocked down to an anonymous buyer for $17,000, leaving Ron with more than just memories. He is hoping that the buyer's a good-looking girl, of course. He's always been a bit that way. Well, finally, one of Australian show business's most enduring partnerships has broken up. Ventriloquist Ron Blaskett today sold his famous sidekick, Jerry G, for $17,000 at auction. They delighted children of all ages for more than four decades. Jerry G, Jerry G, who and lot and where is he? He was the brightest dummy on the box, the handcrafted boy that made everyone else on Australian television look wooden. Star of the Tarex Happy Show, IMT and Ron Barassi's football clinic, Jerry was brought out from America for the launch of Channel 9 in 1956. Today, his operator and companion, Ron Blaskett, finally moved his lips to say goodbye. 
The jury was in a case in the garage, and what's the use of that? I'm not into collecting nostalgia, and he doesn't quite suit the decor of my house at the moment. From the garage case to a glass case, Jerry was up for auction and generating plenty of interest from the floor. Some buffs even bidding with their own Jerry dolls. $17,000 once, twice, third and final time, $17,000 will be sold. We've all signed it. $17,000 sold. The buyer made an early retreat, leaving Jerry in the dark about his new home, a tear possibly developing in his famous twinkling eye. He is hoping that the buyer is a good-looking girl, of course. He's always been a bit that way, even when he was doing children's shows. I'm that fellow, yes, that's me. I'm that rascal, Jerry. The passing of an era, and that's the latest from the ABC newsroom.